Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to today's stream. I am Darkside Phil. It is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. Hopefully you are doing well. Um, pretty exciting news I've got for everyone today on multiple fronts, okay? On multiple fronts. Very exciting news. First off, in regards to uh, this coming week of gaming, it's going to be crazy good, alright? And way better than I even expected. Um, one of the best gaming weeks of the year, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, okay? So, if you're not aware, uh, first of all, a viewer of mine, his name is Tom, he said he wanted to be called Tom or Thomas, so I'll call him Tom, um, donated a digital copy of both Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, if you remember, all this year, I basically said I was not impressed whatsoever with Infinite Warfare, I thought it looked terrible, and I refused to give, uh, you know, Activision or Infinity Ward my money for this game. Because I didn't think that it was worth it. I really wanted to play Modern Warfare Remastered very badly, actually. Because I love that game. But, I was not going to pay the uh, insane amount of money, $60, to buy Infinite Warfare in order to spend an extra 20 to get Modern Warfare Remastered. They are not currently selling Modern Warfare Remastered by itself. It is a scam by Activision to force you to buy Infinite Warfare. And I would even go as far to say, I bet that a bunch of people, all right, who are buying Infinite Warfare are only buying it because they want Modern Warfare Remastered. And probably they're gonna end up playing Modern Warfare more than Infinite Warfare. It's kind of a, bait, a, a baiting tactic, because I think that Activision realized people don't really care about Call of Duty that much anymore. Especially with all the reactions that they've gotten to, to Infinite Warfare this year. Massive dislikes on YouTube and everything for all their trailers that they've released. Uh, I think that their, their, their time in the sun is gone, let's put it that way, okay? So, I was not going to play it. I was going to skip it, but then... Tom contacted me and he said that he wanted to donate it, so thanks to Tom, I will be playing both Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered starting on Friday, okay? So what that means is that I have two days left to work on stuff before I get caught up in the new release madness of Call of Duty, because let's face it, I'm going to be playing that all weekend. You know, I'm probably going to play all day Friday, probably stream it Saturday, stream it Sunday, and probably Monday. Uh, balancing between the two, jumping back and forth between campaign and multiplayer of both games. It should be fun. And even if Infinite Warfare is duty, at least I won't feel guilty that I gave money to this company. <laughs> so there you go. Alright, so that's going to be this weekend. All about Call of Duty. That's number one. Number two, I didn't even know about this. I knew about the game, but I didn't know about this news. There's a, a PlayStation VR game releasing next week. It's one of the games that most people are actually hype and excited for, for the PlayStation VR. It's called Robinson The Journey. It is a game where it's exploration-based, and apparently there's dinosaurs, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff in a VR landscape in this game. It's basically a game that's kind of trying to be groundbreaking and do something different that's never been done before uh, in virtual reality. So, I'm excited for this, and it comes out next week. I didn't know that. So I want to say thank you to um, Industrial Gamer, who told me about this on Twitter last night. He's like, were you aware this comes out next week? And I was like, let me see. And I clicked on the trailer. I was like, holy shit, this could be amazing. So, who? I hope so. I hope so, because that would be, I mean, that could be, uh, you know, let's face it. I've played a bunch of games on PSVR, or I have. I've played a good you know, almost a dozen different types of games and experiences, whether it was the demo or the full game, right? Nothing's really blown me away, although I have liked the, the silliness and the interactivity of some of these games, especially with the move controllers. But, this could be the game that maybe, I mean, let's play, imagine if a PSVR game ends up being a game of the year contender. Can you believe that? Um, I guess we'll see. Well, you know, we got fingers crossed here, okay? Um, it could end up being a flop, that's the thing, a lot of these games that get the hype behind them end up being the most disappointing, I mean, <laughs> the wind sky, <laughs> so, you know what I mean, just because it looks good, it doesn't mean that it's amazing, it could end up being a terrible game, who knows, but I'm hyped, and I'm very excited, okay, very excited, 
and I hope that it turns out well, all right? Now, also, you might not realize this, but next week, not this coming Friday, but the week after, so that would be Friday, November 11th, Dishonored 2 releases. And then once that releases, it basically opens the floodgates for new releases this month, including Watch Dogs 2, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Final Fantasy 15, and a few other things as well. So, there is going to be an incredible amount of new gaming content this month. And I'm very excited for that, but just think about that. This coming week, alright? Today, we're going back to PSVR for a day. Tomorrow, I'm doing Dragon Ball, alright? Tonight, I'm playing more Titanfall 2, and tomorrow night, I'm going to be reviewing Titanfall 2 for KO Gaming. Um, this weekend, all weekend, into next week, Call of Duty. Next week, I'm checking out this PlayStation VR game. And, uh, might even be reviewing, you know, other stuff like Dragon Ball or Call of Duty. Depends on how far I get. And then we got Dishonored 2. Holy shit, what a week. Like, we just went from... I thought that the early November was going to be dead. I really did. I thought early November was going to be a dead gaming time to overdrive. We are now in gaming overdrive. Crazy amount of stuff I need to cover in a short period of time. So, whew. Let's see what happens. Let's play it by ear. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to work on. Okay? Um, but I'm going to take it in stride. I'm going to, you know, do what I need to do. There may be some days coming up I need to go a little bit longer, if possible. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. Okay? <laughs> Pac-Man in the stream chat says, What perks do I get if I donate $100 a month to your Patreon? You get them all. Because my highest perk level is 50 bucks, so you'd get every single perk. Forum upgrades, premium access to uh, voting and nominating of games for events. You get your questions answered on Ask the King. You get a private Q&A video. You get a text and verbal thank you in, all my, in, in multiple videos. You get the whole nine yards. There you go. Anyway, now let's get back on track. So today I'm playing PSVR. We're returning to the VR today, ladies and gents. Uh, what are we going to be doing? Well... The last time I played PSVR, I ended up at the very end of a game called Here They Lie. Even though you might call it horror, I wouldn't call it survival, because there really isn't much survival to the survival horror aspect of this game. Stupid PSVR just fell off my fucking couch and landed on the floor, that's nice. Um, yeah, it's really, not, it's really more of just kind of a walking simulator with some jump scares and stuff in it. Although, I guess it should be said... That there were uh, a few times when I got pretty confused on what exactly I was supposed to be doing to progress. And then I did figure it out. Um, you know, pretty confusing in a lot of ways. But I'm near the end now. In fact, from what people were telling me, they were like, you're, you're less than an hour away from the conclusion of the game. Uh, I just ran out of time. So... Yeah, so I think that I will try to finish that up on stream today. Now, I don't know. It could be... I haven't beaten this game, so I can't definitively tell you yes or no um you know yes or no if it's i'm going to beat it in an hour or not. i don't know because i haven't finished it and you know what i asked everyone and no one has an answer for some reason it, it wasn't put on how long to beat.com or whatever that website that has game links wasn't on there and no one had a definitive answer for me so i may finish it e quickly on stream today or it might take all of today's stream i don't know i hope it's more quickly because I'd like to get back to PlayStation VR Worlds. This is the game that is a wide variety of stuff, spanning many different experiences. If you remember, I've already gone under the sea and got attacked by a shark, and then I also did this London Heist uh, game, which was quite fun. So I'd like to do other stuff in that, but I don't know uh, how long here they lie is. So we're starting with some kind of creepy horror, and then we're going to move over to action-based, exploration-based, whatever, because the game has so much variety, I don't even know what the other remaining things are. I may actually pull the stream and see, what do you want to see next? Do you want to see this? Do you want to see that? <clears throat> and go based off of that, okay? So that's going to be today's gameplay stream. Tonight, I'm playing more Titanfall 2, and this will be my last major multiplayer session of Titanfall 2, simply because I'm out of time. I have way more other stuff to do, okay? Um, so that being said... Yeah, tonight I'll play more Titanfall 2 in preparation for me to review it tomorrow night. I am going to review the game tomorrow night, okay? Uh, tomorrow, I will return to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. That will be my gameplay stream, okay? 
Uh, hoping to make major progress in that. I beat the Cell Saga last time. So I don't know how much more is in the game because there's only the Boo Saga. And I don't know if they stuck in other sagas. I don't think Dragon Ball GT is in the game at all. They probably have some Dragon Ball Super stuff in there. I believe that they actually do have, like, uh, Resurrection F with Frieza. And, you know, the, the, the God Saga. But I don't think that, they, like, with Beerus. But I don't think that it goes past that into the Super Saga. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to see. Okay. Um, so I don't know how many more sessions of Dragon Ball I'll need to finish the story. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, but that's tomorrow, and tomorrow night I'm planning to review Titanfall 2 over on KO Gaming. Friday will be the premiere of Call of Duty. And what I may do is overnight, on Thursday night, do a poll on Twitter and say, what would you prefer to see? Do you want me to play Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare first? And would you prefer to see the multiplayer or the single player? Because the bottom line is I need to cover everything. I do, I need to play all of it over the weekend, and... I guess it's going to depend on maybe what people want to see first. So I may do a poll uh, and we'll check it out, right? I guess we'll find out. So that'll be all weekend. And then when this Robinson the Journey game re releases, I believe that's on Tuesday, then I'll be checking that out. And I'll be balancing the week with Call of Duty, this Robinson VR game, and a little bit more Dragon Ball until the end of the week when Dishonored releases. Okay? There you go. Now... One final piece of news, and then I will, you know, finish the pre-stream and we'll get into the gameplay, okay? Uh, a lot of people, the past couple of days, alright? And people have been contacting me and saying, Phil, how are you doing? Because, you know, a lot of people pledged to your Patreon for October, and you told us that, you know, your October Patreon was incredibly successful, the highest ever, and it was. For October, let me tell you guys. My Patreon, the biggest month ever, by far, by, I'm not even kidding you, by hundreds of dollars. The biggest Patreon month I've ever had. Most people pledged, and most, you know, amount pledged, ever. So thank you for that, anyone who did pledge to my Patreon in the month of October. I very much appreciate that, and I definitely could use the money. This is a time that I really need it. So thank you, and I hope that if you pledged a big amount in October, that you'll consider at least staying as an ongoing pledge. I know you're probably going to lower your pledges. To something more reasonable like a dollar or five dollars a month but thank you for that and please consider an ongoing pledge because as i've said since this started the way to be successful with patreon isn't to get a few people to pledge a ton it's to get a lot of people to pledge a little so please consider ongoing a small pledge if you're not already doing so all right but the other piece of news is people want to know what's going on with youtube what's going on phil because the past few days uh, you know, you had some pretty fun events going on. You had your Halloween event, right? I've been doing ongoing coverage of new releases. Uh, Titanfall. And people want to know, how's it going on YouTube? You know, what what is the status of everything? Or is it up? Is it down? Uh, if you remember last week, I had told everyone I was making a little bit more money on YouTube. It looked like the holiday ads had kicked in. And therefore, the profits had gone up. Okay? Well. I would love to tell you guys how I'm doing. Unfortunately, I can't. And if you're wondering why I can't, it's because YouTube fucked up. This happens all the time, by the way, on YouTube. There was a rollback. If you don't know what that means, it means that YouTube one day updated the statistics, so views went up, subscriptions went up, everything went up, okay? And then all of a sudden, it went backwards. So what happened to my channel is it showed a gain in views, then it took the views away, then it gave them back, and then the same thing with subscribers. It added subs. It took subs away. It added subs back. And at this point, I don't even know if it's accurate or not. But what I can tell you is that my calculator... I have this calculator that Machinima uses. Machinima is the company that I'm partnered with. And it calculates how much money you're making a month. It froze two days ago. Because whenever YouTube rolls back data, it means that they internally they fucked something up. And Machinima doesn't want to tell someone, oh, we're, you're making this money when the data could be wrong. Okay? So, I don't know what they did. They fucked up their, their calculations somehow over the weekend. So, as of now, for three straight days, I have absolutely no idea how my channel has done. And YouTube won't give me a definitive answer. But what I can tell you is this. I've got some data in regards to streaming. Uh, my Halloween marathon stream, which lasted around seven and a half hours, was my most viewed stream of October. 
And that's awesome, because that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, even though it didn't reach a peak of viewers, for example, what I mean by that is my PlayStation VR unboxing stream and the setup stream for that had over 1,500 viewers at one point, but that was only like a two and a half hour stream, okay? The Halloween stream was seven and a half hours, and overall, because it was a longer stream, even though it only hit maybe 600 some viewers at its peak, overall did better performance wise, okay? So I want to say thank you to everyone who attended that Halloween stream. You basically made it a very big success. Even if the videos on demand don't go crazy good, which I don't expect them to do, let's face it, it's all like mostly older games. All the games that I played there, right? They're all older games. Not one of them was a new release. So I'm certainly not expecting any of those games to get tons of crazy influx of views or anything like that. But for an event, a one day event, that was a pretty awesome one, and I think people really enjoyed the event this year because I was doing four different games. I kept it moving and I kept it lively rather than just getting bored with one game for seven hours. You know what I mean? So I think it was a much better marathon. I want to say thank you to everyone who did uh, was here live or who checked out the videos on demand. Looks like it was a positive one overall, okay? But I can't tell you right now, sadly... Uh, I can't tell you what's going on with the business because all the data is frozen. Now, typically what happens, about three days into the new month, the data finalizes for the month before. So usually around the third or fourth of any month, I know how I did the month before. Uh, I hope I have that data. I would love to say, wow, we had a spike and here's how it went. But I can't tell you definitively because it's all fucked up. All right. Hopefully in the next couple days, I'll have more data for you. Right now, I have nothing because YouTube sucks. Okay, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, what I'll do is a, c a couple quick plugs, and then we'll get started. Uh, the first plug that I want to do on today's stream, and this one is, I'm being serious here, all right? Um, Loot Crate, why am I bringing this up and saying I'm being serious about it? Because Loot Crate just started a special promotion, uh, for me anyway, where if you've ever wanted to subscribe to Loot Crate, okay, and you've been thinking about it and you haven't done it yet, well, first of all, I'm going to be unboxing the new Loot Gaming Crate shortly. I just got it yesterday, so I'm either going to unbox it today or tomorrow, depending on how much time I have. Um, so you'll get to see what's in it. If you're interested in a Loot Crate subscription, and you use my referral link, which is lootcrate.com forward slash darksidefill, and while you're there, you, you get any new subscription, and you use the discount code SAVEME10DSP, SAVEME10DSP, you save 10%. But I get some referral credit. Well, right now, there's a promotion going on with Loot Crate where they're kind of giving people more credit. Um, I think they, like, have doubled it for the holidays. I think what they're expecting is there's going to be a bunch of people who kind of buy subscriptions to these things as, like, a present. So, yeah, if you do get a Loot Crate within the next two weeks and you use my referral code and discount code, I get more money for it. So I would definitely appreciate if any of you who watch my stuff and have been watching my Loot Crate unboxings... Um, are interested in it and have been kind of holding off this would be the time if you do it now i get more credit than ever before so please consider doing so okay thank you for that um twitter app they call me dsp i don't think i really have to emphasize to you guys why twitter is so important it's where i give you all of this kind of information and updates on a daily basis uh, right now, as I said, later this week I'll be posting up a poll about what I'm going to be playing in Call of Duty first. In addition, there's a schedule that lets you know what's going on every night. So it's very important to follow me on Twitter. Please do, if you don't. Okay. Um, KO Gaming has picked up in a big way. There's been four new videos in the past couple of weeks, including a review of Battlefield 1, which released just a few days ago. Thank you to those of you who have checked out my review of Battlefield 1. I appreciate that. Like I said, tomorrow night I'm going to be reviewing Titanfall 2. So please check it out over at youtube.com forward slash kogaming1. In the next few weeks you're going to see a lot of videos. As I start to finish up games, I'm going to start making videos. And in fact, I have decided definitively that I will be doing a video by the end of this year that's going to head to head to head compare Battlefield 1 to Titanfall 2 to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare to tell you which is the biggest first person shooter of the holiday season. That should be an awesome video, and I think people are really going to like that one. Okay? Alright, Patreon, I obviously have already talked about it. I don't really need to talk about it much more. But, 
I will let you know that as of now, the new event has been announced for November. If we hit the funding goal uh, for Patreon this month, which if everyone, by the way, keeps their pledges, we already have hit it, but I don't know if everyone's going to keep their pledges or not. We'll have to see by the end of the month. We're going to have the return of Multiplayer Madness, where people who pledge $5 or more are guaranteed to get into a multiplayer session with me. The games right now that I'm 100% considering... Battlefield 1, Overwatch, Gears of War 4, and Titanfall 2. Now, I just announced I'm playing Infinite Warfare, so I'm officially going to add Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, as well as Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered to the list of games. So, for those of you who are getting Call of Duty, uh, for a $5 pledge this month, and if we hit the funding level, it guarantees that there will be an event where you can play multiplayer with me. How cool is that? Two new games added, officially pretty awesome okay so want more details check it out patreon.com forward slash dark side phil of course you've got other perks and things that you get for pledging as well but that's the monthly goal pretty awesome right okay and then last but not least my girlfriend liana owns her own business it's called the black current she sells handmade glycerin soaps she sells wax tart melts she does a lot of damn stuff over there okay please consider checking it out if you go over there, you're going to see not only the wide range of products she offers, but also tons of positive customer feedback since she launched her business back in early 2015, okay? She ships internationally, so it's not just domestic to the United States. Give it a look. Think of it and consider it as a good thing for the holiday season coming up, right? Lots of people are going to be looking for unique gifts. This is one of them. So check it out, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. All right, that's enough. Let's get started. VR. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We're all fucking excited. Ha! <laughs> Alright, I'm a little too excited. I think I need to calm myself down before I have a stroke. Okay? Alright, everyone, thank you. <laughs> 